I'll go ahead and start recording there. You're good. Anyone want to do this intro? I got you. Yo, what up? Welcome to Tokens React. Of course, we are the Arcade Tokens. I go by the Anomaly Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. Yes, and if you have seen the previous Token Reacts, we had to react to the tremendous phenomenon that was the speed run of Super Mario Brothers. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. It's absolutely dope. So we are absolutely in love with this concept. And so we thought to find another speed run of a game that we would think that would be impossible to defeat, let alone defeat and under... 15 minutes. So this next one that we're doing is Ghost and Goblins. Ghost and Goblins was on the Nintendo. Um, Pat, you had a very uh, great feeling towards Nintendo, the original Nintendo. And what was it again? Oh, you gonna make me say this on camera? Yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I don't like. I don't like Nintendo. I mean, I I, I love the, the brand. Um, but for me personally, I appreciated the art style and the, the play style of Super Nintendo and on. I have a bunch of Nintendo games. I went back to a lot of them and I just, I appreciate them, but I'm just not a big fan until Super Nintendo. And as I've always told you, Pat, I'll never leave you in the fire by yourself. Not a fan of Nintendo. Okay. Outside, of, outside oh. of Mario, there hasn't been one game I've ever beaten on regular Nintendo. There's a throwback Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game for the Nintendo. Fire. I played the Super one from way before that one. Wow. Wheel of, Fortune, Wheel of Fortune for Nintendo was dope. You don't remember that? Wheel of Fortune? That's what, that's what you pulled out the, the holster? I I'll, 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 I'll throw one in the fire. Metroid, original one. Great game. Stop. Stop. Classic. I'm what not saying you? that there weren't good games. There was plenty of good games. I'm just saying I didn't really like the games like if I were to pop in a, a, a old school game, I would probably go Super Nintendo nine out of ten times. Oh, mm -hmm. this was the only good game on Nintendo. Duck Hunt was Duck Hunt. Oh, Duck and X Men. And X Men. X Men. Those were the only two popping. Everything. The Batman <clears throat> game on Nintendo. Trash. Trash can juice, man. Just. But it, my bad, but Ghosts and Goblins. <laughs> yes, yes, Ghosts and Goblins. Let's not go down that road. We got, yeah. Ghosts and Goblins, uh, very, another one that was very difficult to beat. Very, yeah. uh, you know, another one of those things, like we said with these speed runs, you kind of have to go through trial and error, as Pat has said. So we're starting off here with uh, Ghosts Ghost and Ghouls, correct? Ghost, Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins. See, I'm going to be switching that up a lot this episode. <laughs> Ghosts and Ghouls. Oh, the very first time I ever saw this character actually in a video game, I think, was Marvel vs. Capcom, and he was a support character. Yeah, I had no idea who the game was really from. I was just like, who is this guy? So yeah. it took me years to go back and like actually look at his games, and then I did play Super Ghosts and Goblins, which was extremely freaking hard. It was yes. very difficult. Yeah, and so, even, even comparing the two right now, I love the art style of uh, Super uh, the Super version. This yeah. is dope, but like given the choice <laughs> i would for sure play the other one now if you guys you know didn't check it out make sure you guys check out uh the gameplay footage that we had of us playing this game it is very hard so i can you can only imagine how difficult the nintendo version was if we were struggling we we, we barely beat the first level right barely no, i don't think we did like it looked no, we did we moved on we in the map that. the map but that was the first level there was like the battles that you have to go to. Oh, what in the juggernaut? And then there's so, the key. So I'm going to go and let you know the time this was. It took him 8 minutes and 47 seconds is the uh, time. 8.47 for the entire... Okay, so their map is similar to the Super yeah. That's dope. Um, okay, so who is playing also? Let me get the name. Oh, we don't want to mess it up this time around. All right, well, while he's getting the name, one thing I've noticed is something that just coming from regular Nintendo, you kind of have, this is like multiple, you have to kind of really be able to coordinate with multiple attacks of jumping and throwing the sword or the uh, joust at the same time. Fast. And at that time, that was hard because basically you got to move and shoot is what he's doing. 
Was his name Arthur? What was this guy's? What was his actual? I believe name? it was Arthur. And I recall him having a second attack or a different weapon. Like, of course, he had the joust, but was it the blue flame, like, torch thing that he also had as a weapon? He actually had a couple weapons. We just really didn't. Thanks. Shout out to that massive jump. He, just, okay, so he's taking damage. So remember, yeah. the Super Mario yeah. World speed run, he took no damage. But this guy is okay with it. He's just trying to get through it fast, so, which makes him human. I like that. Stuck in a plate is this guy's name. Uh, this actually is not even as fast this time. Stuck, stuck in, a, in a plate? Stuck in a plate is, is his name. Is the name goes. And his fastest time like, is, is like actually that. 8 minutes and 27 seconds is his fastest time. So he saved 20 minutes off, uh, 20 seconds off. He saved 20 seconds off. That's, I mean, both are still impressive, but shout out to Stuck in a Plate. Stuck yes. in a Plate. Um, you know, I I am liking how this game looks, though. The um, It low-key looks easier. I mean, I know that this guy's a master, but just how it's laid out, it kind of looks a little bit easier than sup- the Super version, right? Yeah, because, you know, I think ours that really threw us off, too, was he can throw things, like, kind of, like, any direction, so kind of like Metal Slug. It'll go like this way, this way, and then this way. So that kind of threw you off too, and also having to run as well. But since this is kind of just straightforward, yeah, this is um, a lot more straightforward than the other yeah. one. I mean, I'm it's sure it's still very difficult. That happened for like before we ever had analog sticks. Remember, we all we were using D pads on all of these remote controllers. Who was the first guy to walk into the boardroom meeting and be like, "Hey, I want to shoot it at a diagonal uh, diagonal angle"? With, <laughs> like, you know how hard that really is to function. Yeah, and program into a game. That's probably what gaming programmers just think about. Like, how can we make this difficult? Like, I could tell, like, obviously they eased up over the years, but back then it was just like, all right, how can we make a gamer rip their hair out? Yeah. Uh, or just the expert level. Like, you had to be God tier back then to, like, do the half of this stuff. Yeah. Especially, like, mm-hmm. Nintendo Spider-Man. That was just like, fam, you gave you got three lives for the whole game? The whole <laughs> game. First of all, you know, it. You this guy dropped the game. Just me out. Oh, there we go. We got a new weapon. Fireballs. He's Mario now. He's shooting That's fireballs. Dragon. That's a dragon. That's the blue. That's the motherfucking blue dragon. That's the blue dragon. The, this game looks dope, too. Like, I love the level designs. He looks sick. Yeah. Like, his Nintendo version it, it kind of looks better than the Super version. Well, I, think it's a great, I think it's a great upgrade to the next system. Huh? I didn't. I didn't notice that in the bottom left. It's uh, like the actual layout of the remote controller. So every time he's pressing, it's one of the buttons it lights oh, up. Oh wow! I didn't, oh, notice I didn't notice that. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the some of the guy, gamers actually have like a little overlay on their thing that shows every time they press a button, it shows up on the screen. This some people even have a uh, controller cams. They have literally show a camera on their controller the whole time, so you can see their hands wow. actually working the control, pressing the buttons and everything. So that's fire. Yeah, speedrunners, speed, speedrunners are you know they they just it's 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 a strong community, man. Like these guys are really. So they good. literally yeah. have to, they want to visually see the timing because it ain't like he's doing something that you don't know how to do. It's all right. it would all be timing, right? Exactly, it would yeah. be timing. It would just all be timing yeah. and quick reactions and quick, you know what I mean. Yeah. So like you said, Pat, though, too, back to the whole thing of like trial and error, like just think about imagine like all the hours that you like how we put in with the super uh, ghouls and goblins and like how many times we were dying and just trying to get past the first part of the stage. Just right. imagine how many times he had to do it to you oh, know yeah. memorize this level and know what's coming, but then still got to be prepared for it. It's a different type of gamer. It's the patient gamer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you know, our friend Jesse, who who develops games, he's a he loves Sekiro, and he's the type of gamer that he's he says, I love like beating a, being on one boss for three months straight and losing ninety times in a row, rage quitting, and then trying the next day. And I was like, that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds awful. Yeah, three torture. months on one boss, like people so, people love that kind of stuff. So you just got to be honest. So I'm actually I'm gonna say this. I I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure in this game when you lose your armor, you get faster. So I think he's that's taking, what it looks like. So I think he's taking that first hit on purpose. He doesn't. Oh, have, wow. He does not have to get hit. I'm I'm you know I'm I could be guessing, but I'm pretty sure you move faster without. Did you just see like a? Did you just see him get hurt in a way that you don't believe he was I think that he weak? Did. I th- I think he did in the beginning of this level. Let's pay attention to that. 
But yeah. that's really interesting because he automatically gets armor at the beginning of the level sometimes, Every right? Level, exactly. So I think he literally got hit okay. on purpose in order to jump ah, off. That see. was a very detective right. observation. Watch this. You'll see. <laughs> it. To Zordon. I think that, I mean, because speedrunners, like, man, the, the things that they do and they think about is, it's next level stuff, man. It's, it it's is, cool, man. The Japanese See, characters. It's crazy really to good. think that there's been games going for this long where people would love to just beat it as fast as possible, get to the end. That type of thinking developed, you know, communities like the GDQ community where games done quick, where the guy, these guys raise millions of dollars for charities. And people go to these events, they sit in those wow. theaters just to watch someone beat the game live. And they raise over like a million dollars. Let's see if he does I it again. That. Let's see if he does it again. He does. Whoa, he's doing, he's doing it on a purpose. He is Whoa. doing it on purpose. It does it make just, it move faster though. It makes, and I think faster. it makes him jump higher. Or that, or he, it, it literally got him to that next wow. platform. It got him to that next. That's platform. I thought he, he was just gonna accept the hit, but I'm thinking they're so they, they're so like analytical. They yeah. would want. To use that hit for something, you know, so he, he just used did it, it again. To he just did it again. Whoa, look at the freaking glitch. Okay. I ain't mad at that at all. I'm not either. At, I'm, a game like this, like, bro, do what you gotta do to win. I'm not mad at that at this, all. This, game's not, this game doesn't play fair wow. anyway. Wow. On okay. the wall. So I he think, he, I think he just glitched wall. out of the game. I think he, he was just trapped him. I think he, he just trapped him. On that he went into invincible God mode. To win that round, yeah. Wow. What level wow. is he on, guys? I think he's at the this end. is it I, on a level. I was literally expecting him to just take a fireball, but wow, he, he no, he he did something with that. So this is the end. This is the end. This Purple haired awesome. peach. So he took <laughs> and lighten him up with the shields. That's it. That's it. This room is an illusion and is a trap. Go ahead. By oh, Satan. Oh, again, this is this is the thing. See, he just finished the game, right? Look, you're back at the beginning. Beat it again. Oh, wow. Beat it again. So you got to the, oh, ball, the end. He said this room was a trap, and they restart you? Yeah, actually, let me go ahead and let go you ahead. guys read that. Let me, let it me was go an ahead. illusion? Go ahead, go ahead and read what this says. Uh, let me go back. This room is an illusion and is a trap. The Deviant, 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 by, Deviant Satan. by Satan. Go ahead Deviantlessly make rapid progress. Dauntlessly, I've never seen that word. Dauntlessly, is that what that is? That says dauntlessly. Yeah, what I, the I hell does that mean? Go you ahead, know. dauntlessly, make that, rapid progress. That is ugly. So, in other words, he killed old boy, and now he in hell, just going through this shit all over again. Yep. So, so pretty much, he purgatory. He got, yeah, he's in purgatory. He's in hell right now. He's just okay. going through the motions. This is his hell. Yep. How many how many okay. circles the hell is there? Uh seven. Yeah, Dante seven. Uh, Dante's Inferno, I think seven levels levels of hell. So no, he was on, he was on the first one. But like I said, this game, yeah, it starts all over. So the the speed record for beating it twice though. Let me let me, see, let me just leave that full screen. And uh let's let's just check that time. Man, listen. He um, marked it, bro. He, he did he did that. Wow. He did that. Wow, that so, was great. So 17 minutes and 52 seconds is, is someone that beat it. Two loops. That's about the same. When it restarts, though, does anything change? I'm not too sure about that one. I it doesn't get harder? So. I don't think so. Let me let me see. Did it in Castlevania when you flipped it? Was it harder? Hell yeah. They had a whole new ball. Yeah. What's, yeah. The, what's, the fast, what's the fastest Castlevania run through? Oof. Let's check. Castlevania. That's got to be, gotta be a hot forty-five. That's got to be disrespectful. So, which one, the original or actually, let's go? Cleo's favorite. Oh, Cleo's favorite. favorite. Okay, right. sympathy in the night, huh? Symphony if any, of the night. Any percentage? Because there's a thing. There's any percentage difficult. I mean, uh, beating it or a hundred percent difficulty. So let's see. Any percentage? Sixteen minutes. That's not a bad video, right there. By Ridiculous. Dra by Dragon Blitz one month ago on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. A month ago? A month ago, some guy just did that. People are still breaking these records. Imagine breaking that record and then in 2020, during all this shit, yo, right. if somebody breaks your Castlevania record, like, oh, <laughs> can I use something? They just looted my place and, and you got my record, Jackie? 
Bad day, bro. I'm mad, bro. Kenny, how many hours and months and years did we spend on Castlevania? So much, bro. And then that's he, on hard mode. Oh, so he has an any percentage, which I guess it's a glitch. Like he has glitches to beat it, and he has a glitch list at 32 minutes. Same guy, Dragon Dragon Blitz. So he beat oh, it. Man. He beat it with glitches at 16 minutes, and he was able to beat it without glitches at 32 minutes. I mean, but if you ain't beating it without glitches, are you really beating it? Well, he still beat it without glitches. <laughs> so, this is true. Minutes. I'm true down to the 16 minute version, though. I want to see the 16 minute run of, speed of uh, Castlevania. Sure. Okay. So, uh, overall, how we feeling, guys, about goblins and ghouls? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's great to see these games that you know dominated us on one end of the remote control and get passed to the homie, and he just like bloop, 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 jump, move, move, slide across, glitch through the whole wall, beat the boss, and we're done. How did y'all figure this out? How? Who was the first guy alone that started literally taking the notes like, all right, jump here, this mark, and then figured it out and then let the world see? And then people just yeah. better and better. Yeah. Oh yeah. I feel I feel like I feel like the way uh Will's relationship with Sekiro is a perfect example. Uh sometimes when we when we when we're not good at a game, we hate it. We just hate on it. But secretly, we like it. So when it comes to Nintendo, I don't like a lot of these Nintendo games because it's just like, what is what does level two look like? I just want to know what what it looks like. I just want to know what it looks like to be good at this game. So when it comes to these crazy games, I I just want to see this kind of stuff because I'm just I'm thoroughly impressed. These guys are superheroes. <laughs> to just really really rack with what Pat said, there was a game. It was a Lion King video game. And on the back of the game, you definitely saw Simba as an adult. You start the game as, as young Simba, mm -hmm. but then you know that he you can play as older Simba. There are people in this world who never, ever saw older Simba because of how hard that game was to beat. Exactly my point. Did you Ridiculous. see Did you see uh, Simba growing up? I did. We, Man, we, fuck you. We, 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 we and Kadeem didn't beat it till 2019. Okay, I take back my fuck you then. Yeah. I take that. We never no. beat the game. Yeah, we just did it. We obviously had, you know, some save points. We were able to, you know, we pretty much, we had to damn near cheat in order to do it. But we did it. We beat it. But did you beat Aladdin, though? We did beat Aladdin. Yeah. Super Nintendo. Yeah. Man, all right. No, yeah, I'm with you, Pat. I'm with you. I mean, look. No, I casually visited these games. And when they got hard, next, what else we got? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Oh, faithful. <laughs> I also never had a Genesis. Um, but uh, as always, uh, please leave in the comments your mind blown uh, thoughts after this video. If you've even played this game, if you're if if you yourself think it's difficult, or if you thought it was easy, uh, just let us know in the comments, and uh, we will keep reacting to these impressive speed runs. As always, I've been Patrick Cloud. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I am the Anomaly Will Ferrell, and we will catch you next time.